Written by Peter David and penciled by Gary Frank, The Incredible Hulk number 418, which was published in 1994, witnessed an epic confrontation between Professor Hulk and Mephisto, the King of Hell. On their wedding day, Rick Jones is upset to have learned that his wife-to-be Marlo Chandler was in an adult film. While Marlo is dealing with a hangover, Rick demands to know what she was thinking. She explains that she did it when she was 18 for an old boyfriend who she broke up with shortly after. When Rick demands an apology, she says that she is sorry that this has upset him so much. Marlo then goes to bed and has a strange dream where she is walking along a beach. She wishes she could make everything better for her wedding day. She is then approached by a mysterious man who offers to make her wedding day magical, at the cost of her soul. Unaware that this man is Mephisto, Marlo agrees to the wager, shaking the devil's hand. She wakes up to the sound of her door knocking. Rick apologizes for how he reacted earlier. Later that day, the wedding is about to begin and Marlo's brothers are having trouble seating all the invited superheroes. In one of the rooms, Marlo is being helped into her dress. While looking in the mirror, she is frightened by the appearance of Mephisto reflected back at her. Soon the ceremony begins, but it is interrupted by the arrival of Drax the Destroyer who was not invited. They asked him to sit next to Adam Warlock. The wedding then is interrupted by the arrival of the wizard, the absorbing man, Mr. Hyde, and the living laser. They have not come to attack, but to attend, as they also received invitations. Just before the ceremony is over, it is interrupted again, this time by Mephisto. He has come to claim Marlo's soul. Mephisto reveals that the Hulk is his true interest, as he needs soldiers for the coming storm, and Hulk's stained soul will serve him far better than any other superhero. Suddenly, the Hulk saw a bright light in the sky and believed that God is not satisfied with what Mephisto is doing. This gives the Hulk the strength to knock Mephisto away and to force him into retreat. Mephisto could not believe that he was easily manhandled by the Hulk. Hulk said that they are gathered in the sight of the God, and maybe these are not just words, and that God does not like what he sees. Silver Surfer remarks that Mephisto has no power in this place. Defeated, Mephisto released Marlo from her promise in the dream, gloating that this defeat is part of a much larger scheme to damn the Hulk. The priest in this story is depicted as writer Peter David himself, who wanted to show that the demon's incredible powers do not work in places protected by God, and that's why Hulk was able to easily manhandle the demon and to force him to retreat. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.